Picture this, a world where rockets are not the only means to outer space. Can you fathom that? Today, our understanding of space travel is tethered to the image of a roaring rocket, spewing fire and smoke as it propels astronauts beyond the grasp of Earth's gravity. But imagine, just for a moment, a future where this picture is not the only one. A future where space travel is as routine as catching a flight to another city, where the mysteries of the cosmos are not just for the elite astronauts, but for anyone with the curiosity and courage to explore. This may seem like a far-fetched dream, a whimsical fantasy, but with the relentless pace of technological advancement, this could be our reality sooner than we think. So buckle up as we delve into the intriguing world of space elevators. Welcome to a journey into the future of space travel, where space elevators could become a reality. What exactly is a space elevator? Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, doesn't it? Well, you wouldn't be far off. The space elevator concept, a towering idea both literally and figuratively, has its roots firmly planted in the fertile ground of science fiction. Picture this, a colossal structure anchored to the Earth at the equator, reaching all the way up to geostationary orbit, about 22,000 miles above the Earth's surface. That's a mind-boggling height, more than 2,000 times the size of Mount Everest, the highest peak on Earth. Now imagine an elevator cabin, or a climber, as it's often called, making its way up and down this gigantic cable, ferrying cargo and passengers to and from space. This concept was first introduced in the late 19th century by a Russian scientist, Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, who was inspired by the Eiffel Tower. But it was only in the latter half of the 20th century, with the advent of stronger materials like carbon nanotubes, that the idea transitioned from the pages of sci-fi novels into serious scientific consideration. Why are we even considering this gargantuan task, you might wonder? Well, the answer lies in the potential benefits a space elevator could bring. With the current rocket-based methods, sending anything into space is an incredibly expensive and resource-intensive endeavor. A space elevator, on the other hand, could drastically reduce the cost and complexity of space travel, making it more accessible and sustainable in the long run. But don't pack your bags for an orbital holiday just yet. Turning this concept into reality is riddled with challenges, both technical and logistical. The construction of such a monumental structure would require materials and technologies that are still in their nascent stages and would need to withstand extreme conditions in space. So, that's a space elevator, a seemingly fantastical concept that scientists and engineers are trying to bring to reality. Will we see it in our lifetime? Only time and the relentless march of technology will tell. How would a space elevator work? Let's break it down. Think of a space elevator as a celestial lift with three main components, the tether, the counterweight, and the climber. This might sound simple, but the engineering behind it is anything but. First, let's talk about the tether. It's the backbone of the entire structure, stretching from the surface of the Earth to the counterweight in geostationary orbit, some 22,000 miles above. To withstand the harsh conditions of space and the immense tension, the tether must be made from extraordinarily strong yet lightweight materials. Imagine a cable as thin as a pencil, yet stronger than any steel. Scientists and engineers are currently exploring materials like carbon nanotubes or boron nitride nanotubes, which are up to a hundred times stronger than steel for this purpose. Now, let's move to the counterweight. This component is an essential player in keeping the space elevator upright and stable. It's located at the far end of the tether in geostationary orbit, and its function is to act as a balance. As the Earth rotates, the counterweight spins around with it, pulling on the tether and keeping it taut. It's similar to spinning a ball on a string around your head. The counterweight could be a captured asteroid, a space station, or even a man-made object, specifically designed for this purpose. Finally, we have the climber. This is the vehicle that actually travels up and down the tether, carrying cargo or passengers to and from space. The climber is powered by what we call beamed energy propulsion. This means energy is beamed from a source on the Earth's surface to the climber, which converts it into power for the ascent. The climber moves at a moderate speed, taking a few days to reach the top. It's not a quick trip, but it's far more energy efficient than rocket launches. One of the most intriguing aspects of this system is that the energy required for the climber's descent could be less than that for the ascent. 
This is because the climber could use regenerative braking, similar to what electric cars use to generate power as it descends. And let's not forget about safety. In case of a malfunction, the climber would have emergency systems in place, including evacuation pods and braking systems, to ensure the safety of its passengers and cargo. So, there you have it. A space elevator is essentially a giant tether anchored to the Earth, with a counterweight in space to keep it taut, and a climber that ascends and descends, ferrying people and materials to and from space. That's the basic mechanics of a space elevator, a simplistic yet highly complex structure. Why would we want to build a space elevator in the first place? Well, there are several compelling reasons, and they all revolve around the potential benefits space elevators could offer. Let's start with cost effectiveness. Traditional rocket launches are expensive, to say the least. They require an enormous amount of fuel and are essentially single-use vehicles. A space elevator, however, could drastically reduce these costs. Imagine a reusable transport system that needs minimal energy to climb beyond our atmosphere. The savings could be astronomical, paving the way for more frequent and accessible space travel. Now let's talk about safety. With rockets, there's always a risk. They're complex machines with thousands of parts, each of which could potentially fail. A space elevator, on the other hand, offers a much more controlled environment, reducing the chance of catastrophic failure. No more worrying about rocket explosions or re-entry heat, just a smooth ride up and down. And what about the environmental impact? Rocket launches produce a significant amount of carbon emissions contributing to climate change. A space elevator powered by renewable energy sources could be a much greener alternative. We could reach for the stars without leaving a carbon footprint. Moreover, space elevators could open up new opportunities in space exploration and colonization. They could facilitate the construction of space stations, lunar bases, and even interstellar ships. This could be our ticket to becoming a true spacefaring civilization. Lastly, consider the benefits to scientific research. With easier access to space, we could launch more satellites, conduct more experiments, and gather more data. This could lead to breakthroughs in everything from climate science to cosmology. So, cost-effectiveness, safety, environmental friendliness, the potential for space colonization, and the advancement of scientific research. These are some of the compelling reasons to build a space elevator. These are just a few reasons why space elevators could revolutionize space travel. Of course, building a space elevator is no small feat. There are numerous challenges to overcome. First and foremost, let's talk about material strength. Our current materials, even the strongest ones like steel or carbon fiber, are simply not strong enough for a structure that would stretch from the Earth to the geostationary orbit. This is where concepts like carbon nanotubes and graphene come into the picture. These materials are still in the experimental stage, but they promise to provide the strength required for such a structure. If these materials can be produced in large quantities and at a reasonable cost, we could have the foundation for our space elevator. Next up, we have the challenge of space debris. Our planet is surrounded by a cloud of man-made debris, from defunct satellites to spent rocket stages and even tiny flecks of paint. These objects, traveling at high speeds, pose a significant threat to a stationary structure like a space elevator. However, solutions are being proposed. One idea is to design the elevator with the ability to dodge incoming debris. Another is to invest more in space debris cleanup initiatives, reducing the overall risk. Then there's the power supply. An elevator climbing to space would need a constant and reliable source of energy. Traditional wires would be too heavy and impractical, so we need to think outside the box. And indeed, scientists are considering novel solutions such as using lasers or microwaves to wirelessly transmit power to the climbing vehicle. Another challenge is the Earth's rotation. The centrifugal force resulting from Earth's rotation is key to keeping the space elevator upright. However, this also means that the base of the elevator must be situated near the equator, which is not always the most practical location for launch facilities. Solutions to this could include offshore platforms or even mobile seagoing bases. And let's not forget about the cost. Building a space elevator would undoubtedly be one of the most expensive projects ever undertaken, but the potential rewards are huge. A space elevator could drastically reduce the cost of sending payloads to space, making it a worthwhile investment in the long run. 
Moreover, the cost could be shared among multiple nations or private companies, making it more financially feasible. Lastly, there is the question of international cooperation and legislation. Who would own and operate the space elevator? How would its use be regulated? These are complex issues that would need to be resolved, but they are not unique to the concept of a space elevator. They are similar to the challenges that were faced in the early days of satellite technology and solutions were found. These challenges are significant, but not insurmountable. The future of space travel may indeed lie in the hands of space elevators. So, what does the future hold for space elevators? As we delve into the realm of possibility, it's essential to understand the current state of research and development efforts in this field. At the heart of it all, scientists and engineers worldwide are working tirelessly to bring this concept to life. They're experimenting with various materials, technologies and designs, all in the quest to construct a fully functional space elevator. The potential timeline for the first space elevator is a topic of much debate. Some optimistic estimates suggest we could see one within the next two decades. Others, more cautious, propose that it might take up to 50 years or more. A lot depends on how quickly we can overcome the significant challenges that lie ahead, such as developing a material strong and light enough to support the elevator's immense structure. But what does this mean for the future of space travel? Well, imagine a world where getting to space is as simple as stepping into an elevator and pressing a button. It could revolutionize our approach to space exploration and potentially democratize access to the cosmos. It could make space tourism a commonplace activity and perhaps even pave the way for human colonization of other planets. Moreover, space elevators could significantly reduce the cost and risk associated with traditional rocket launches. This could lead to an increase in the number and frequency of space missions, fostering greater scientific discovery and advancement. However, it's essential to temper our excitement with a dose of realism. While the promise of space elevators is tantalizing, we are still at the beginning of this journey. There are numerous technical, logistical, and regulatory hurdles that we need to overcome before this dream can become a reality. In conclusion, the future of space elevators, and by extension space travel, is a fascinating blend of promise, potential, and challenge. It's a journey that we are only just beginning but one that could forever change our relationship with the cosmos. The future of space travel is uncertain and exciting, with the promise of space elevators on the horizon. We've come a long way from the first rocket launches. The journey has been astounding, from the first tentative steps into the cosmos to the prospect of an elevator that could take us into space. Let's take a moment to revisit what we've learned. The concept of space elevators is not new. It's a vision that has captivated scientists and dreamers for decades. This colossal structure, extending from Earth's surface up into geostationary orbit, would revolutionize the way we access space. The mechanics of these cosmic lifts are fascinating. Imagine clinging onto a ribbon-thin, yet incredibly strong cable, made from carbon nanotubes or other novel materials. You'd be whisked upwards by a climber, powered by lasers or sunlight leaving the Earth behind at a steady, comfortable pace. It's a concept that offers immense advantages. The cost of reaching space could plummet, making it accessible to more people and organizations. We could send up larger payloads from satellites to space stations. Even lunar and Mars missions could be launched from these towering structures. But like any grand vision, it comes with its share of challenges. We need to develop material strong and light enough for the cable, find ways to power the climbers, and protect the structure from space debris and other hazards. It's a daunting task, but not an impossible one. Scientists and engineers around the globe are working tirelessly to overcome these obstacles and bring the dream of space elevators to life. And what would this mean for us, for our future? It could be the dawn of a new era in space travel, an era where reaching the stars becomes as routine as catching a flight. An era where space becomes a place not just for astronauts and robots, but for all of us. As we look to the stars, we can't help but wonder, could space elevators herald a new era of space travel? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, the potential is there, waiting to be unlocked. The future of space travel is as limitless as the cosmos itself.